Creatine supplementation, is it something that we should consider as part of concussion or brain injury recovery? There's been a lot of talk about creatine over the past couple of years, but more recently there was a study published in regards to Alzheimer's disease where they found absolutely it did have benefits. Now the thing is, a lot of the processes going on in Alzheimer's disease from inflammation, how well the brain's connecting, also we see a lot of those overlaps with concussions. So my thoughts on this is absolutely creatine does look something to be very beneficial for supporting the health of the brain. But here's something you should know when you are looking for creatine supplementation. One, a lot of the cheaper base supplements, they may have a lot of additives and fillers that you really don't care for. Number two, when you look at the serving size, okay, the serving size is going to be five grams. Five grams is what people have done for decades, really from a bodybuilding and a muscle perspective, which is good for that. But when we look at the Alzheimer's research and other research on neurological and brain health, guess what? It is not five grams, not 10 grams. It's actually 20 grams is what they did. So when you do it, make sure you are going up appropriately and you're getting enough to do it. Now, maybe this isn't the full solution, but this is one piece of the puzzle that when you add it with a few other things, you get to where you want to be. Until next time, I'm Dr. Z and I'm known as the Brain Guide.